Health Alert, local moms asking you to help them find a cure for JM. What does JM stand for? JM stands for juvenile myositis. If you've never heard of it, Simonetta D'Onofrio is not surprised. Juvenile myositis is a rare autoimmune disorder in which the immune system attacks blood vessels throughout the body, causing painful muscle inflammation. She first learned about it when her son Marco, now 13, was diagnosed four years ago. Initially, he had strep throat. We thought he just had a virus, and it affected his skin and his muscles. He was crying while he was walking up the steps at school, and we knew that this was just not normal. There was something more. JM was sapping their son's strength. Marco's diagnosis was made after four months. For Michelle Best, it took 18 months to get answers for her son James. He was just two and a half years old. His symptoms appeared one by one and slowly. So first he appeared with a rash, which was misdiagnosed as warts. It's the core muscles just kind of uh, fell apart on him. Shortly after that, he started falling. I know how you move, they like. James would ultimately be diagnosed with juvenile dermal myositis. The now 13 year old faces more challenges with JM than Marco, but both are responding to treatment. It's difficult at some times. You have to be like careful about the sun. You have to wear a hat, put on sunscreen. Just you gotta be careful where you go not to get sick. There is no cure for JM, which affects one to two children in a million and mostly girls. Raising awareness and getting pediatricians to recognize JM when they see it are goals of this Sunday's first DC walk to cure JM. So I'd like to see them put him into remission. I'd like to see the pain controlled. So I have a lot of goals and most of it involves research. Again, the one mile walk to cure JM is Sunday, June 4th at the Rio Washingtonian Center in Gaithersburg, come rain or shine. We have registration information on our website.